Now, I have a bunny head that I um, made on in Silhouette Studio. But anyways, I've just traced it, and now I am going to take it to my sewing machine and sew around and leave it open down here because I do want to go ahead and turn this one inside out and stuff it. But I guess you could just go ahead and use the glue gun. I've done that before. But for this, I just, I just prefer to go around it with the sewing machine. Okay, I went into the sewing machine and sewed that up real fast and I was lazy and I did not change out my thread. I left it black. So I'm just gonna cut around it Now I'm just going to barely, I don't want to cut into the threads. I think I'll get a little closer on this so I won't worry, have to worry about clipping around it. It's not like it's going to be worn and pulled off and on and once it's sewed and stuff, it's going to sit in one spot. Now, I'm going to work on turning it inside out. And after I get it inside out, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and put the face on it before I stuff it. That, that would be the smart move, I think. So I'm going to work on turning this inside out and then figure out how I'm going to paint the face. Okay, on my bunny face, I just took my pattern and kind of drew something off, and I don't want to try to do it on here. I mean, the drawing, so. I think about right like that. Okay. And I still use old school carbon paper. And I'm going to try this. We'll see. Okay, let's see how that worked. Enough to where I can tell what I'm doing. All right, now I'm going to get my paints and start painting that on. All right, I have my paint and my brushes, or my brush, well, brushes. And this fabric is rough, so it's not easy to paint on. If I wasn't going oval, I'd just dot that on. Gonna have a lot of paint on there to get down in those grooves. Good enough for mess it up. Now, the nose. This color is a uh, coral, my folk, folk art. I'm 
holding my breath. Actually, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Not that. Uh-uh. Now. Get me some water because I want this thin. I'm just going to roll my paintbrush in my black. be much easier if the texture wasn't so heavy. And then just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Now, for my, I can't really see those, so. I'm going to put a dot here. And a dot here. And a dot here. By the way, I'm not a painter either. I need some water. I need to rinse that out and kind of loosen that up. Roll that in there. thick. Good enough for me. I'm not going to keep messing with it because I'll mess it up. right in there and I should have put my cheeks on I'll, I'll let this all dry and then I'll go back and put some cheeks on and some pink in the ears and then I'll stuff it but I'm gonna let this dry thoroughly but I am gonna get my white I need Instead of an end, I'll use this because it's stiff. I would normally use the end of a the little pointer end of a kebab stick or whatever you call them. And it'd be a lot easier than doing this. And he needs some eyelashes, but I'm weary of doing it. Which one of those was my good one? This one. No, it was in black. This one. ones. 
I have to see what I'm doing. Little bitty ones. That's good. Good enough for me. Okay, has eyelashes. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. The paint is dry. So I'm going to put some cheeks on him, him, her, whatever. Um, yeah. That's good. Now just a little up the middle of the ears. And I can't really, and they're not flattened out, so. Just, oh, I forgot to say, I'm just using the, uh, a dauber and some blush. All right, now I'm gonna start stuffing him with just some polyfill and get him stuffed and then, and I'll turn this under after I get him stuffed right here and seal that off with hot glue. Then I think I'm gonna go around the edges, whoa, I about lost that, with some of this Distress Ink in Walnut, you know, like that. I would do it now, but I want his, all his, everything out where I can get to it. Getting started is always the hardest part. I'm gonna go with the ears first. I'm not gonna have you sit here and watch me do this. So I'm gonna finish stuffing my rabbit. Okay, I have it stuffed and the bottom of it glued. I'm just gonna go around the edges with some of my Distress Ink in Walnut. his face. Not too much. Okay, I'm going to call that good on that. Now, what I'm going to put him on is something I have Lots of, and it's a bed spring. I have bukus of these things. Just got to figure out which way. Probably about like that, right there. So I wanna put, I don't know if I can glue him on there. He's got to have some, something underneath him. Let's try some of this. It's a paper-like stuff. 
probably too much. This is not as messy as the moss. Let's see. I'm trying to see what that, that would look like. Okay, I'm going to have to try to get it on there with hot glue. And I want a little green up in there too. Okay, that is glued on there good. And it's kind of falling off the front. I think I'll, hmm, I'm not sure I want that green on it or not. Just a little here and there, maybe. Well, here it goes. Once that gets glued on there, it's not coming off. Let's see if we can't get the bunny head on there. Get this stuff out back in the bag. Yeah. And hoping this stays on there. I'm gonna hold that for, wait, I want it more like that. This is gonna be my front. And hoping he stays there. But I'm gonna hold it for a bit. Okay, while well, all that's sitting, I did print out a bunch of stuff and I, I needed to label and I could I didn't see any sense in printing out wasting a sheet so I just put a bunch of stuff on there and printed it out <clears throat> and now I'm gonna cut this out Now I'm going to crumple this up, kind of break up the fibers in the paper. I don't like those. Okay. Don't want to rip it. Now I'm going to go around the edges with the walnut ink stain. Kind of all over it a little bit. Get it on the back.
All right, now let me set that aside. I have that ready. It says Hoppy Spring. Like Happy Spring, but Hoppy Spring. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Now, I have... That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know whether to just tie one that's hanging down. Like that, or tie a bow. I'm going to try a bow. I've got hot glue stuck to my fingers. All right, I'm going to make me a bow. I'm not the best at that either. Yeah, well, I'm just going to do one this way. Just tie a bow. That would have been fine had I left a little more hanging down here. So I'm gonna go down a little bit. And tie the bow. I don't want that too big. That's about the size I want on this end. I think that looks good. Okay, that'll work. All right, I'm just gonna glue that on there and I need some glue stick again. You know, it really needed some more stuff that kind of stuck out. Oh, I should have held that there. Quit messing with it and hold it there. It just needs something. I don't know what it is. I'll do it like I usually do it. Set it aside and keep looking at it till I either think, nah, or do something with it. Okay, now I'm going to have to find something. I didn't bring it. I'm going to have to find something to get my little uh, tag on there. You know, could have taken some of that string and used it for the little whiskers. That would have been cute. Okay, I just doubled that in half. Folded it in half. Alright. Trying to see where I want it. Kind of like to have it where it can be seen. Okay, time I not. It's not gonna need to be very long. Right there. Cut that off. Just trying to figure it out. I think. About right. Maybe if I put it like right in there. Yeah, right in there. Right there. Kind of hang on to it for a little bit. 
I'll have to trim those up there. Okay, I just think it needs something. I don't know what it is. But I'll set it aside and look at it for a while and figure out what it needs. If it needs something, I don't know. What I do is I'll walk out of the room, I always leave it setting, and then when I walk into the room, I take a glance at it and it's either, oh, that looks cute, or oh, uh-uh, gotta do something. But so far, I need some white right on that, or some dark. But that is what it's looking like. And it says Hoppy Spring. All right, I'm going to set it aside and just look at it, see what I think. All right, for this project, I am going to do some mason jar craft for Easter. And I've got a little... Uh, clay pot that I got at the Dollar Tree and it'll fit right down on the top of it. So first thing I'm going to do is take my plaster by Waverly. Well now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe my jar down with some alcohol. Okay, that's good. Set that aside, put the lid on it so I don't spill it. Now I'll give this a coat. I did try to find a jar that didn't have too much writing on it because I am going to put an Easter label on it. Well, on one side I'm gonna put an Easter label and then the other side, I'm gonna put something else because that way it can be turned around and used after Easter. I'm gonna go around the top right fast. But I'll give this two coats. and let it dry thoroughly between each one so it doesn't rub off. Actually, I am going to put a coat of the Waverly on my top here because I decided I wanted to try to crackle it. So it'll need the base coat of this. All right, this is dry. So I'm going to use some of this folk art crackle medium that I bought at the thrift store. I paid a dollar for it and it just, it was brand new. I think I've used it once. You're supposed to put a coat on it and let it dry for an hour. So I'm going to put a coat here all the way around the edge. Kit Kat hair. and let it dry for an hour. All right, my uh, crackle's been sitting an hour or more, maybe more. So I am going to, remember, I can't keep going over that. I have to just put it on and not keep going over it. Ooh, it's running right there and right there. I have too much. So I'll just go down here. I don't remember if I put crackle down in there. So I'll just go ahead 
and act like I did. Okay, leave it alone. Leave it alone. I really want to go over it some more. <laughs> I can down here, though. I see some crackles starting in. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and crackle. Now, I'm gonna start on my jar, and my stuff is crackling some. It wasn't a necessity, I just did it. Yeah, I have some crackle. <clears throat> but anyways, I went on Etsy and found this pattern. This, These two right here. One is plain, one has the carrots kind of colored in and some green. I'm going to use this one. And I went ahead and printed this one out because I want to put it on the other side. I don't want to just have it out for Easter or spring. So I'm going to cut these out. And I did go over these <clears throat> with a like an acrylic spray or, you know, your matte spray, clear finish. So when I put my Mod Podge on, I don't get bleeding. Last time I used hairspray, two coats, it worked. And then I had um, a comment left to use uh, the spray, so, <coughs> oh. I did that this time. Of course, I printed this out and sprayed it, so I set it aside, and it was dry and ready to go when I needed it. I will leave, leave the link on the Etsy shop that I bought this. And this, I'll just set aside and put it in my binder. Okay, put that right there. Open my Mod Podge. It never wants to open easy. Okay, there's a little writing there, so I'm gonna go. Doesn't matter. They're both gonna. There's gonna be one on each side. I'm gonna go right in there. And I wonder. I think I'll put it on. I need something. Okay, this stuff here will work. I can't tell if I'm getting down in there. Okay, now I can set that aside. Could have made that just a wee bit larger. Straight. Appear to be. And I'm going to go over it with some more Mod Podge. I'm going to do something with the white. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Am I down everywhere? Yeah, that, krill, that uh, clear spray really works. I'm not getting any bleeding whatsoever. but I am going to have to let this dry before I can go any further on that well. I'm going to go ahead and put that on this back over here. I'm 
Might as well get that done. Move that back out of the way again. Oh, I stuck my fingers in that over there. I have fingerprints now. Okay, that is down on there good. And that also helps being able to rub on it too, that spray. Coated. I really don't even know, need to go over it because of that spray, but I'll go around the edges some. Oh well. Let's see if I got any fingerprints over here. I see some right in there, right there. All right, now I'm gonna let both of those dry and not touch them. All right, this is all dry and I wanna distress it some. So I'm just gonna take some of this, the Jolie top coat in brown and start putting it on. Get my finger in there right. Okay, I'm just gonna go around my label with some Mod Podge and put some ground cinnamon on it because I this was decrepit dust. I don't know. And I tried to do it, kind of use it the same way I did this Mod Podge is running because it's something I had put water in and put a little too much and I already had cinnamon and stuff in it. I just kind of brush this out with my finger so it's not a line. I'm going to go over that. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and brush it, and then I'll probably go in different places with it. But I wanna see how that's working before I continue on. I wanna know if that's the look I want. All right, guys, I still don't like the way this is turning out, and I've really done a lot of stuff to it. So, what I've done here is put some uh, Waverly plaster in and added in some coffee, instant coffee. And I don't know if this is going to work either, but I definitely didn't like it the way it was. Definitely liking the color better. I wouldn't mind having a little more coffee streaks in it, but I'm afraid to mess with it. See, there's what it was. I like this better. I've almost messed with this project way too long and I keep trying. I don't want to give up on it. I better set that aside. That was some I mixed up that was way too light. Now I'm kind of wondering 
I don't want to do too much of this, but I want a little more. something in it. Just a little. Not a lot. That's instant coffee I just put on there. Not melting like I wanted it to. Maybe I need to sit, let it sit a little longer. Let me see if I've got a different coffee. No, it's not any finer. I don't think. I'll try it. some of that on my I don't know I am just not getting it with this jar all right, something so simple and easy, and it should have taken me no time, has been ridiculous. But I'm going to leave it the way it is. There, you can see the coffee is kind of on it. But I need to go around there, so I am using Distress Ink in tea dye. not doing a whole lot, but that is just enough. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to start working on a candle to go in my little clay pot. Okay, I was going to use a real candle, but I might want to light it and I wouldn't want real flames in this anyway and it'd mainly be for looks but i got i can't i got my candles in they came in just in time to do this project and because the last one when i done the star picture i used my last candle but i ordered me some more and these are probably a four inch and they are on a timer, so, and they last quite a while when you put a battery in them. They'll, you can turn them on and they'll go off and come on the next day at the same time, and they run for six hours. So I'm gonna work on this, put this one aside, because really I wanted, what I was wanting to do with this is dip it in wax, some more wax, and I don't have time to do that, so I'm gonna set it aside and just grubby this one. But I probably won't show it because I did it in the, well, in the star picture a uh, couple videos back. I'll link that below, and it'll show you how I grubby these up. If, if you didn't see that and you want to know, it'll be in that. Okay, I just covered it in uh, Mod Podge and cinnamon. I'm going to set it aside to dry very carefully so it doesn't tip out of there. All right, after my cinnamon dried that I had coated on there, I went over it with a brush and brushed all the loose cinnamon off. And then from there, I put another coat of Mod Podge on and sprinkled some ground coffee. Uh, this is not instant, it's actual coffee grounds. 
and I just sprinkle those on there lightly. Now I'll set it aside to dry, and after it dries, I'll go over it one more time with Mod Podge to seal the little coffee granules in on. All right, it is time to get this little thing finished. Let's see which side is my flat side? I believe that one. Yeah. Okay, this is just a piece off of the inside of a, the tube, like from tin foil. I always stick those back and save them. And I just cut me a piece off and put some hot glue on here and hot glue it to the center of my little pot here. I need to decorate this. So I think I'm going to put this moss down in here. I'll need this in there so I can see what I'm doing. Now, I'm gonna have to get something to kind of, some pit berries maybe. You know, I wish that was sticking up a little further. Huh, what could I get to get that to come up a little more? Okay, we're gonna see if this works. Yeah, that works. I just took some of this DOS uh, modeling clay or whatever it is and stuck down in there. I'm going to make sure it's level, going to set right. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. Now, I want to find some things some, uh, to stick down in there. So I'm going to finish that up. But in the meantime, let's see, there is in my jar, I have some fabric that I already kind of tied around the jar. So I'm going to slip it back on. If I can, if I can, I'll untie it. Okay. I want it on this side. I just used some of the fabric that I coffee dyed and then some of the black homespun and some cheesecloth. Now, all I have to do is decorate around here a little bit, put some, something in there, and I'm calling this one finished, finally. It was really an easy project. I just, my mojo must have just been off. And I just set it, I finished it up a little bit last night, and I set it up on the desk with the little candle cup in it and the candle, and I walked off, and I, I thought it was going to go in the trash. And I walked in this morning, and I thought, that doesn't look that bad. That looks pretty cute. So I'm finishing it. 